she doesn't know that she has a hand. She turns books. She opens doors. She holds bottles. Um, she grabs for little things with her left hand, kind of forgets she doesn't have that ability, and goes for her right. So, so it's awesome. Yes, you are awesome, weren't you? What I was doing here was um, foaming up a prosthetic arm. It's a below the elbow. It's going to be a passive hand. Basically, um, what we do is we make a hard outer socket to go over the soft inner socket so it gives it something so rigid against the uh, soft socket. And then what we'll do here is we'll build a base out of the two-part foam, grind it down, and this will give us a, an attachment base for the wrist unit for the hand. This is for an eighth-month-old. This girl is um, congenital below the elbow. Um, basically, it's just going to give her a passive hand for balance and help pull herself up. <clears throat> so allow her to hold a pacifier. So I'm going to send this socket home with him over the weekend for a few days and let her get used to it because she's really doesn't quite know what's no, going on. Me. What do you think, huh? Here, here you go. Oh, Zach, come on here. There you go. There, there. There you go. Okay. These are that nice. Yeah. Okay, you good to Yeah, I should leave it on now. Oh, so yeah. yeah, over the weekend, we'll do that. Yeah, a little bit by little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah. She's like, oh. Well, that's as long as she's had it on, so yeah. that's good. And yeah. she's not crying. And she's not crying. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But she does a lot with her little yeah. wrist. Yeah. Open stores. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Good. She's really good at opening the doors and taking out of all emotions. Okay. So next week we get the hand, huh? My name is Darlene, and I'm Carmela's mom, and we're here today to get her a hand that she's almost ready for. Not quite yet, but almost. We're gonna have to wing her onto it. She was born without her left hand. Um, she has a quarter of her wrist that's growing. Yes, it is, sweet girl. I'm not, I'm not worried about her physically um, getting along without a hand. More or less a mental thing and um, a tease with her siblings and peers. You know, more, you know, I don't want her coming home crying because of it. But, you know, we're just going to have to work her and tell her it's not a handicap and it, she's a blessing and I don't regret anything and I, I think she's perfect. I, I really do. I love her the way she is.